And Fox Carolina is your school station. And before sending your kids back to school, we're sharing some reminders. Yeah, always important. Fox Carolina's Myra Ruiz has more with an upstate superintendent. With a new school year upon us, the focus is on maybe just getting the kids to class, but there are some things parents can do to help their student thrive. And joining us to tell us more about this is Latricia Tucker. She was a district teacher of the year in Union. And uh, you know, tell us about your teaching experience. I've been teaching for 19 years, 10 years in 4K, and nine in first and second grade. Oh, that's wonderful. So, you know, what are some things that parents may overlook that are so important to helping a student thrive? Um, getting the children to school on time is very important and making sure that they have a breakfast to eat before they come to school or at school. Most schools have their breast breakfast free for their students. So just bring them to school on time and they can get a breakfast to eat. And they need to get enough sleep too, right? Enough sleep. They need enough sleep. You should have a routine already in place for your children that they go to bed on time and reading to them before they go to bed is always a plus. Yeah, how much does reading help? Reading helps a lot. Um, reading, when you read to your child or when a child reads to you and they are comfortable with reading, reading goes across the boards, your math, your science, your social studies, everything. How important is it to ask your child about what they learned that day? It's very important. Not only does it have a communication platform between your child and you, but now you are very informed on what your child knows. So what you, should you ask your child you know, about school? Instead of saying, what did you learn today? Ask them, what did you do today? Ask them what happened in math, what happened in um, reading. Just stay away from the question of what did you learn because sometimes they don't understand that question. And when it comes to interacting with other students, is there something that parents should also be aware of? Yes. Um, we all know that bullying is an issue, so we should teach our children empathy. We should teach our children to respect the differences of other children. So that's really big. So that's where conversations come into play. Do you have any nice stories about something about, uh, you know, uh, involving students who maybe met a, very, a student very different from them and what became of that? Um, I do have one that one of my students, we had a child come in and the child had very um, big speech issues and uh, motor issues. and. I have a child that came over and just helped them do everything and it wasn't something that I asked that child to do. That child did it on their own and that child at, by the end of the year thrived because everybody, you know, took and helped him. And that, you know, probably has a lot to do with their upbringing at home too. It is, it is. How important are parents' roles in communicating with the teacher as well? It's very important. Communication is very important. Um, Teachers usually have something like an app called Remind or different platforms where parents can contact the teacher and the teacher can contact the parent or email anything. Just make sure you get in touch with the teacher and communicate. Well, thank you so much, Latricia Tucker. I can see why you were a teacher of the year. <laughs> okay, all sorts of great advice. Myra Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.